So normally this bank is mown and kept trim, but you can see with no mow may, we have one, two, three different kinds of dandelions. There's buttercups, there's red clover, there's different grasses. There's this grass here, there's a plantain, there's this grass here, and this grass here, and then coxfoot here. And up against the bamboos, you can see the cow parsley. So then you come along here, there's bird's foot trefoil, and then these are the mouse ears, mouse ear dandelions. And here's some hungry grass. This is one of my favorite grasses because the grass seed looks like um, uh, fish. They look like little mini fish. Then there's a big amount of uh, yellow clover here. And look at that. Look at all that. Blooming in May. This is our lawn. As you can see, it's very well mown and maintained. It has never had any fertilizer. It's always been mulch mode, speaking of which. All of this is mulch mode. Here you can see there's uh, Speedwell is running through. I love Speedwell, so pretty. So the yellows are buttercups, yellow clover, bird's foot trifoil, dan trifoil, dandelions. Over here, there was a patch of cowslips. You can see they're going to seed now. Look at that. The purple and the yellows are spectacular. The pale, milky yellows of these versus the richness of the bird's foot trefoil. Oh, and there's daisies. So this is just a bank that comes round to the front of the house. And No Mo May is doing its thing. Look at the colors. Really, they are so beautiful. There's the red and those yellows and the daisies. Now, if I go up this bank, you can see the speedwell is going through the grasses. But look at this. This is mulch mode. This has never been fertilized. We do not take the lawnmower cuttings off. And look at all the different species of grasses. There's loads of species, oxide daisies, you see, and buttercups, and see there's two different kinds of daisies. There's those kind of daisies, and then there's the little lawn daisies. Here's another very variant of a dandelion. So, cow slips and all sorts. This is what a no mo may lawn wants to look like. Yeah, there's bits of rye grass in here. That's a bit of rye grass. But if you look down deep, there's yarrow that is still to come. And there's probably ladies bed straw in here still are to come. There's salad burnet, all kinds of things. It looks beautiful. Look at the edge of the woods. Now, I'm going to let as much of this go to seed as possible. Isn't that right? It's a tall, long grass. Look at you! you silly puppers. Yeah! And, oh yeah, here's, there's different plantains. There's the long leaf plantain, then there's the short leaf plantain, and buttercups, all the different leaves. So you can see this is one plantain. See how tall and slender the leaves are? And then this is a broader variety. So we've got four different varieties of plantains on our farm. This is the one that a lot of people call rib grass, this tall skinny one. So there you go. And the, the plantain flower was so pretty. It's like a firework.
So all through there is yarrows, and then there's the low-lying grasses or reedy grasses like that one there. So that's two dandelions of a type. So there's that type. And then there's this one. And then there's this one. So those are three different types of dandelions just right here. Isn't that right, dogs? Anyway, biodiversity is multiples of everything. Oh, this here is um, St. John's Wort. I missed that on the first pass. St. John's Wort. So if you stand back, you don't necessarily see the variety. It's when you move in close that you can see the biodiversity. Right there in that image is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different herbs at least, and that's just a cursory count. That's just the herbs. Anyway, or legumes and herbs. So variety is the spice of life. It's just so beautiful, all the different colors. And look at the blue butterfly. Perfect timing, blue butterfly. <laughs>